Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video, we're going to have a look at this TP Link AC750 wireless dual band 4G LTE router. So, this is a router, but you put your SIM card in it. So, it uses your LTE or your 3G signal, um, and then all your other devices in your home can, uh, can connect to it. So, you could use this if you haven't got a good broadband speed or as an emergency backup in case your broadband goes down and you need to. Um, set something up or you ha just a place where you haven't got any broadband and you want to be quickly be able to set up a network and share some internet connection this will do the job so what I'm going to do is I'll uh, unpack it and uh, put a sim card in it and we'll give it a test okay so here's the the device around the back we've got uh, three LAN ports and or four LAN ports I should say and a WAN port the idea of that behind it is that you could have um, access coming from a broadband router going into this and then distributed out so you don't need the wireless uh, or the 4G connection and then if that fails you can use the 4G connection and the SIM card goes in there and they do provide some SIM adapters um, the one I'm testing on was a micro SIM but it's a full size slot but they do provide all the adapters that you need um, so that's quite handy really because most Depending on what device you've got, you could have a SIM card of any kind, so nano SIM or micro SIM. Right, so I've powered it up now, so I'm going to connect to it now and then we'll see what we can do with it. And you can see the lights there showing the signal strength. Right, so I've got it connected up and I've just. Uh, uh, the first thing I do is I'm going to go on to the 192.168 address just to do the config. It's asked me to set a new password. Okay, it asked me, um, it's asking me the region settings and. I think that should be about it. Let's have a go. Um, it's asking me to create profile name. It's already detected from the SIM card the the settings, so it's, it knows I'm on an O2. Uh, mine's a contract one, and that's really the setup complete. It's now just giving me the options of the wireless network creating uh, passwords. There's a 2.4 gigahertz and a 5 gigahertz a connection on here. Right, we're connected up now and. Uh, the real life image is just on the border of 3G, 4G, so um, it's currently connected on 3G. So when you go onto it, you see this nice little map showing you that you've got a 3G connection and uh, you've got wireless clients and a wired clients. And if we, the phone has or the SIM card has received an SMS, you can view that through here as well. So there's none on here at the moment. Uh, so wireless clients, you can see the device I'm on and wire clients would show up if I plugged uh, something in through the Ethernet port and there we go that's working working fine now I'll try and get it into 4G mode and we can do a proper test in a minute but uh, let's first have a look at some of the options that we've got on here so in the basic mode you've got your network map you've got your internet settings these are the ones we put in before your wireless settings you've got an optional guest network uh, so you can enable a guest network with their own password and you can have it so the guests can see each other or can't see each other so imagine you've got someone come to your home or your office and they ask for internet access you could use this give them a guest separate guest network and then each of the devices can be isolated so they can't see each other and can't see other devices on your network like maybe your file server or your printer or whatever um, or you can choose to do that it's up to you so you get that flexibility so I always find that really handy having that guest network it, doesn't, it means you don't have to give your main network password out the other option is got you some parental controls and you can blacklist keywords and uh, you can set up access time and things like that which I think is is really good really handy to have as well so you can make your via MAC address filtering you can set devices that um, don't get filtered and devices that do so any parent will probably be happy to see something like that but also equally handy if you're in a corporate environment or a, a, your home office or a small office and you've got to put these protections in place if we go up to the advanced uh, here we can see all the settings and we've got a connection on there and they see we've got 75 percent signal strength um, the two modes you can operate in you can operate 3g 4g router mode or wireless router mode so if you're in wireless router mode you just plug um, your uh, an internet access cable 
into the US, into the um, LAN port on the on the router. So you can just use it as a normal wireless access point, and then you can switch it over. You can enable things like robot uh, roaming data. You can protect the uh, SIM card settings through pin management. You've got all your DHCP settings and MAC address filtering if you want to do that. You can use dynamic DNS from one of these dy dynamic DNS services, no IP, one of those. You've got, um, let's see, well, we've got a SMS so we can view messages that have come in. We can, um, we can have things like virtual servers so you can publish your server on your network and it supports UPnP as well. Virtual server so you can have a server that's a web server on your internal network and then this router can then forward that request in from your external to your internal network. We've got bandwidth control so you can enable bandwidth control up and down um, and then you can put some rules into that so you can do it by IP range, you can do it by protocol um, and so on, so kind of um, quality of service type things. Access control, you can do MAC address and IP filtering. And there's some helpful diagnostics if you want to uh, log traffic and uh, establish connectivity issues. So just a quick look here on the indicators that now shows we've got internet access, access when 4G is enabled, 4G comes on there and you've got your signal strength as well. So like I said, you can plug in on the back, you can plug in other computers um, or you can plug in uh, a normal network and then use it as just a simple access point. It really, sim it's really all you've got to do is put the SIM card in and, and away you go. Um, so it's a good way of adding mobile access to a device that doesn't have Wi-Fi or SIM card slot or whatever. You can use these. If it does have Wi-Fi, you've got those. You're setting up a small office or you want a backup solution. It's a really handy device. It's about 140 quid on Amazon. And uh, I think it's pretty good actually. Speeds you're going to get are as good as you can get through 4G or 3G depending on your signal. I was going to do a speed test but I think it's not picking up 4G. There's probably not much point but you know the speed you're going to get of 3G, 4G. Um, and that's it. It's a simple solution. Plug it in and away you go. So that's the TP-Link AC7500 wireless dual band 4G LTE router. Very nice little device, good Wi-Fi signal, good Wi-Fi sharing and uh, with a 4G capability. So thanks so much for this video. More videos on routers and other devices on our YouTube channel and on the digitallifestyle.com.